हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम नेट दिसंबर 2023 एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन रोटेशन मैट्रिक्स सो द मैट्रिक्स दिस आर थीटा इज गिवन एंड इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ रोटेशन मैट्रिक्स एट एन एंगल थीटा ओके एंड अबाउट एन कैप एक्सिस सो एक्सिस इज एन कैप एक्सिस आई मीन इट विल बी अ यूनिट वैक्टर ओके now the value of theta and n cap we have to find out so we can use property of a 3 cross 3 rotation matrix the trace of this rotation matrix r will be equal to 1 plus 2 cos theta okay this is the trace of rotation matrix correct now you see what is the trace here here the trace is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 cos theta so what is cos theta cos theta is equal to minus 1 that means theta is equal to pi okay so theta is pi that means these two options are wrong correct theta is pi so either this option is correct or this option is correct now i have to check what are the eigen values and this is very important for your understanding that which is that vector about which rotation is taking place so when you calculate the eigen values of this rotation matrix you can calculate it easily you will find out that it is 1 minus 1 and minus 1 okay so calculate the eigen values these are the eigen values of this rotation matrix so one of the eigen values you will find out for rotation matrix will be 1 and the eigen vector corresponding to this eigen value suppose that eigen vector is x1 that eigen vector is that axis about which the rotation has happened so because you have already calculated the eigen value that is 1 so just calculate the eigen vector corresponding to that and that will give you the vector about which the rotation has taken place so just you write it like this uh take this uh 1 so it will be minus 2 and minus 1 uh by 3 and minus 1 So it will be minus four by three and minus two by three, corresponding to lambda is equal to one. And here all the values will be same. So zero zero and two root two by three and here zero zero two root two by three and put a vector here x one x two x three. and that is equal to 0 okay so i am just calculating eigen vector corresponding to lambda is equal to 1 so once you calculate it you will get minus 2 x1 is equal to 0 so that's why x1 is equal to 0 so you can see that's why 0 is here also 0 is here also and the second equation that we get is x3 is equal to under root 2 times x2 okay so just you multiply this and uh, from those equation you will get x3 is equal to under root 2 that means if i take x2 as positive then x3 is also positive so obviously both numbers are positive so this is the answer and you will check that this is a unit vector so uh, under root of uh, this 1 by 3 Plus two by three will be one. Okay, so this is unit vector, and because of this condition, if x two is one by root three, then it will become root two by root three. Okay, so if I take x two as one by root three, so x three will become under root two by under root three. So based on this property, many questions can be asked for a three cross three rotation matrix. Okay, so this is one of the questions. 
but just understand these properties and based on these properties you can also solve other questions thank you